we got a call from one of the managers there. Now I will actually show you what our place looks like. Oh, you want me to go now? <laughs> what? Why do you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Ella's sitting here on the counter eating some turkey. Is that good? Yeah? ASMR, baby ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good ASMR. Oh, Pa, yeah, your pa's over there. Yesterday, I filmed, I'm just gonna scratch the footage, and I'm just going to kind of tell you what we did yesterday because we didn't film very much yesterday, and yesterday we were all in bad moods, and it just was not good, huh? Yesterday, we went to go see an ultrasound of baby A, and that video will be up soon. I have, like, part one and part two to that because we went to go see her the first time, and she wasn't cooperating, and then we went to go see her again yesterday, and she also wasn't cooperating, <laughs> but you guys will see that in the video coming out soon. After that, I dropped... Ben and Ella off at the house because Ella was extremely grumpy. We were dealing with a lot of transitions for her and it's just been a little bit tough. So I dropped them off and I went grocery shopping by myself. All right, groceries are here. Now we can finally eat. Ben's gonna stand here with Ella so I can show you guys what he thinks. We have a full fridge of food. We have a full freezer. I put everything away in the kitchen so like this is all of our like cooking stuff and then the pantry is full as well so yeah we actually have food now and it actually kind of feels a little bit mm -hmm. more like home katie did a really good job she like organized all the pots and the pans and the plates and stuff like that so. yeah i did that yesterday and i montaged it so yeah. i just won't put that in it but is. i put all of our pots and pans in here like our crock pot is here a mixer knives everything so that made me feel a lot better to get groceries in the house i was waiting in it made me feel a lot better to get groceries in the house just so that we're not constantly like what should we feed her what do we eat for lunch what do we eat for dinner we have food here and there's no excuse to eat out anymore huh we're not eating out for like a month though. also i posted a video today of us moving in and then us finding out the really bad news about our apartment so i want to do two things i want to one update you guys on our whole apartment situation which we figured out yesterday and then two i actually want to show you what it looks like in here now after putting some stuff away because i didn't yesterday first i will update you guys on our apartment situation my hair's like all flipping out if you watched yesterday's vlog you know what's going on and <laughs> what we're having to deal with right now. Yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday. We decided yesterday morning that we would call early for when the managers were in to talk to a manager and just talk over everything that happened and what they can do and what I could have done and all this stuff, just like so talk over it. Before we could even call, we got a call from one of the managers there and then handed the phone to me because I was the one dealing with this whole situation. This lady was basically like, hey, I saw these papers on my desk this morning and I just wanted to call and see what happened. And I was like, I sent you guys an email. I replied to the email that you sent me over a month ago and I just sent in that that was our notice and like I didn't know that I had to do anything else. And she goes, I am so sorry. I didn't see this email like i must have skipped over it somehow in the email you did say that this is your 60 day notice you did do it in time so this is definitely our fault and i'm gonna have you come in and i can set the date back to the date that you're supposed to be moving out and it'll be like no charge on your part and i was like what and ben and i were both shocked because they made it like it was so easy yeah the first lady made it like such a big deal that we were going to have to pay month to month and it wasn't guaranteed and like all this stuff and the manager was like oh no it's no big deal like since you did send it and you did like everything i guess i did do everything i was supposed to do. i don't know she said thank you yeah that happened yesterday so that made us a lot happier with our situation yeah it just made us feel a lot better after we got that call then we went and got our ultrasound done Came home, went grocery shopping. Then Ben left. He had to go to work yesterday. Then my mom came over and just kind of hung out with us a little bit. I finished doing Ella's room for the most part. It's kind of messy right now. Is it messy in there? What? Ella's room? No. I mean, okay. there's toys and stuff. It looks like it's been played in, but it's not messy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you guys around 
the whole house so you can see what it looks like right now ella left with my mom when my mom came over so that we could go and sign some papers we went and signed papers we loaded the car with everything else that was at the apartment so the only thing left at the apartment are two pieces of furniture that we don't need and a picture that we want to be really careful with and transport it really really carefully so we're just leaving it there for now until we know a specific place that we want it to hang so yeah that was our day yesterday we didn't film all of it and so i didn't feel like it was good enough for a whole video but now I will actually show you what our place looks like after, what's today, day three? Day three. Day and three of a, being in it. We did a lot last night and yeah. we did a lot today. Yeah. I did a lot this morning. Our trashes are pretty much completely full. So this is what our dining room is looking like. Oh. Ew. Oh. <laughs> That's gross. Um, last night I ordered a table and some chairs and then we have to order a bench later. But a table's coming in, I think within the next week, so we'll have a table here, baby. but all of Ella's toys are here. Do you wanna go see your baby? Oh, she's actually getting down from my arms. What a concept. Wow. <laughs> Her little outfit. And then our kitchen is completely put away. We just have some miscellaneous stuff on the counter and some dishes. We've already run a load of dishes, but everything is put away. And we have food now, I'm closing this. Benjamin has a horrible habit of leaving cabinets open. Oh yeah, hey. Here is our living room for now. We have our old couch here. We've decided to get a little sectional that goes here and here. And we have a few toys and some pictures we need to hang up, but this is what it's looking like for now. And then upstairs is like the worst part of it. There's so much stuff upstairs. <laughs> when you come up, we have stuff everywhere up here, but we have some laundry going in here. Mine and Ben's room is the worst room of it all. It looks so bad. Our sheets are dirty. There's dirty clothes everywhere. There's clothes everywhere. Boxes, I just cleaned off the counter. Ben organized the closet last night, so I need to go back through and like organize my clothes, but he put everything away, thank God. It's actually semi-organized now. This way, we have some clean clothes. Ella's bathroom, Ben put up her curtain and her little oh, mat sure. is here so yeah. oh and he put stuff under here her washcloths and towels and soaps and stuff so here's ella's room this is the part that makes it look kind of messy these are her clothes but we need a dresser for it and her tent set up we have a whole toy yeah. corner right here that she can play with yeah she won't go in there she's scared of her room she doesn't like her room right now so <laughs> her bed she peed on her sheets the other night so we had to change those out and this is baby a's room ella's been playing in here a lot so everything's kind of pulled out but i have put all, all of her clothes hung up right here this is everything that we own for her and half of these aren't even newborn so she's oh she likes playing in these clothes she was doing this yesterday <laughs> <laughs> come here ella Ray. Ella, where's Ella? Where did she go? <laughs> Ella? Ella Ray? <gasps> there you are! <laughs> oh, she was oh, coming you at you. Me? She was coming okay. at you. <laughs> That's what our place is looking like right now. It is still very messy, still very cluttered. Ben and I are basically prioritizing our room last. We're gonna work on that tonight since Ella's room's pretty much done. Everything downstairs is pretty much done. We need to tackle our room now. Also, Ella's room will not be looking like this. She has wallpaper coming in on Thursday. Her sign that'll be here. She, I just got her different crib sheets. Her dresser is going to go on this wall right here. So I don't know where all of this stuff is going to go. But for right now, this is what it looks like. But it's going to be looking completely different. So in the official house tour, I'll show you guys like exactly what everything looks like. Bye. And hopefully we can get that done within the next couple of weeks. I'll just close the door on Ben. Are we going to play in here now? Why don't you let Dada in? Yeah, why don't you let him in? Here, open the door, go like this. Say hi. 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 Now the plan is I'm going to go to Target and return those baby gates that I bought the other day that I showed you guys. Those don't fit and they were like kind of janky and weird. So we are returning those. I need to go do that. And then I'm going to get a few things from Target. We need like a smaller utensil holder to go in the drawer because our big one doesn't fit. Like a paper towel holder, a broom. And so I'm going to get a few things like that and probably get me and Ella a treat while we're out so that I can just treat her because she's having a really hard time right now. And then Ben is actually going to the Chick-fil-A construction site. If you guys know, Ben was working at Chick-fil-A and they are remodeling his Chick-fil-A since he's part of like the management team. 
they are going over there today to go look at the construction site and see how it's going. So he's going to do that. Oh. Ella, you gonna put your shoes on so we can go? Ella, say bye to Dada. Daddy has to go to work, baby girl. Bye. Bye, can have a kiss? Mm. Mm. Thanks. Bye. Bye, bye. Love, Love you. Bye. Bye, baby girl. All right, I just stopped to get us a little treat. I just got a small coffee and I got Ella's smoothie and she's saying please. So if this isn't like the biggest mom move, pulling over to give your child their drink because they can't hold it by themselves, like I don't know what it is. Do you want some smoothie? Uh. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Uh. Oh, you don't want it now? Oh, you don't want me to hold it, I see. Uh. Oh, you want me to go now? <laughs> what? Ooh. Is it good? You're welcome. Well, I've resorted to this. She was just screaming for about 10 minutes and I just let her cry. Oh, okay, I won't touch you anymore. Um, but I returned the gates. Everything turned out great. I'm gonna see if this thing fits in our drawer. This is the smallest one they have and I forgot to measure, so I'm just going to get it and if it doesn't work, I'll return it. A little towel holder, some oven mitts, and that's everything that I've gotten so far. I'm just kind of going around and just thinking, do we need this, do we need this? So that's basically what I'm doing right now. We are now in the toy section. The only other thing that I got is some deodorant for Ben, but we have resorted to the toys. She's not having it. This is not helping. Well, that was a very quick, but like not quick trip into Target. It is now 5.11. Most of the time, we're just trying to keep Ella happy. She's in such a weird mood, guys. Like literally, I don't know what to do with her. She's normally such a good child, but right now she's just having a really rough transition into the new place. And I don't blame her. Like, it's just really hard to be a one and a half year old and not know where you are. We have some packages that arrived at our old apartment, so I need to run by there really quick, grab the packages, and then I'm gonna go home and start cooking dinner. All right, we are home. We got our packages. And now I'm going to see if everything I bought from Target actually works out <laughs> and if I'm going to have to return it or not. Ella is enjoying a banana on the couch because I need to cook dinner and we need to distract her. Okay, I'm really hoping this will work because it's like the thinnest option that they had for like a utensil holder, so nope. I don't know why these drawers are so freaking skinny, but this doesn't fit in here. Like. I don't know why these drawers are so small. Like they're not normal size. And this is definitely a little bit less wide than that thing, so. Oh my God. So I'm going to have to return that. I don't even know like where to find one that would fit. Maybe I can just order one off of Amazon or something. So I'm going to start cooking dinner now. Ben isn't even done with his Chick-fil-A stuff and it's 6.20 and he was supposed to be there at 4.15 or something like that. So I don't even know if he's going to end up going to the gym or not, but we'll see because he's going to call me when he's done with the Chick-fil-A stuff. But I'm going to cook dinner really quick and I'll be right back. How was your dinner, Ray Ray? What? Let's make some ice cream. Okay. All right, we're going to make family ice cream bowls. Ella thinks I'm putting her to sleep. She's running away from me. It is 7.45. I don't want those. So yesterday I bought these like ice cream cone bowls and Ben was like, what is that? Wait, no, 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 here's the thing. Okay, yeah. hypothetically speaking, I didn't know how these work. Imagine putting ice cream in this bowl. He was like. There's gonna get melted ice cream in the bottom and then when you get to it, it's just gonna spill over and it's gonna be a huge mess. So that's what I thought. I was like, that is literally the dumbest thing ever. And then after I said that, then Katie put it in a bowl. No, no, so. no, 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 that's how you're supposed to do it. And then you're supposed to like crack it and eat it. So I was at work, visiting the construction site, and Katie just roasted me because I didn't go to the gym, but um, it took like three hours longer than I No, I, I said that. I was like, I don't think he's gonna go to the gym. I said that. Because it took forever. All right, so it is now ice cream and survivor wind down time and then for the Gonzales family. And then Katie, the nine night word. You can't say that. I can't say it too loud. <laughs> After this. <laughs> 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 
So normally, Ella is screaming, crying, going to sleep lately, but they're laughing. So I'm gonna go up there and see if I can record them without her seeing me. <laughs> oh, <forget> it. <laughs> now, beep, 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 beep. Why do you know what I'm gonna get in here? I'm making you sit up. I'm gonna get ready to sit up. Ready? I'm gonna get ready to sit up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Go pick a book. Go pick a book. Go pick a book. This one? You wanna read it? Mommy. I don't know if you guys heard, but I like peeked around the corner and she saw me, so I left. But now I'm gonna go take a quick shower because I feel disgusting. And then I think Ben and I are going to tackle our room finally and try and get everything a little bit organized. Hey Missy, what are you doing? Yeah, Baba. And go go. Yeah, you're watching Coco? Well, um, as you can see, tonight did not go as planned. Ella is definitely not ready for bed. It is now almost 10 o'clock. I had to hurry my shower up really fast. I am clean. I didn't get a chance to, like, wash my face. I had to hurry and get out of the shower because she was screaming bloody murder as Ben was putting her down to sleep. So we tried for about 45 minutes to get her to go to bed thank you we just decided to take her out because i don't know i feel really bad to like force her to go to sleep in a very unknown place she's only this is our fourth night here and only one of those nights has she gone to bed peacefully the other two nights she's fallen asleep in my arms in our bed and then tonight she'll probably do the same thing she'll probably fall asleep with me it's just tough because i i just feel so bad for her i want her to feel as comfortable as possible and right now she's not really comfortable in her room at all she's kind of scared of her room sorry i'm like messing with her hair her little curls right here are so freaking cute i love them her hair's getting so long but um, she normally is not like that. She's been really, really good about going to sleep. So I just feel bad. And I know eventually we'll get back on a schedule. But for now, while we're still making this place home and feel like home, she needs to feel comfortable. I guess we're going to have to probably re-sleep train her. But last time it wasn't that difficult to do that. Ben and I were planning on doing our room tonight because it's like the last place that really needs to be done. But now I'm having to snuggle a one-year-old, which I'm totally okay with. And Ben is downstairs actually playing Fortnite. He and Angela are playing Fortnite together. So I'm gonna snuggle with Ella and I'll probably get her to go to sleep here soon. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram before you leave and we will see you in our next video. Bye. <laughs> Can you give kisses? Bye. 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 Say night night. No. <laughs> you don't have to go night night. Tell them night night. Say night night. No. Oh, great.